Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting ready to get started with the stream tonight. So grab your drink, your potato chips, your brushes, your paints. Sit back, relax. We're going to get started in about 30 seconds. All right, here we go. What's going on, everybody? My name is Mike Cho. Welcome to the stream. If you guys are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you guys are returning veterans, returning uh, viewers, welcome back. Tonight, we're going to be working on a little bit of the Blood Angel shoulder pad that I had finished working on on Thursday. We're going to try to work on that, and I'm going to start working on highlighting that sucker. And then eventually, we can... Uh, Finish up that piece and move on to another section or, or another mini. Warcasters here for more paint. All right, Warcast, I'm ready for you. My SWAT team, right here. My Ultramarines, <clears throat> my Nipple Marines, they're ready for you. All right, guys. With that being said, let's get started with this show, huh? <clears throat> All right, here we go. So this is where we left off last. Um, you know, I ended up painting my fist on red. I freehanded the whole uh, Blood Angel symbol, filled it in with the black paint, Abaddon Black, and then I went in with Evil Sun Scarlet as a highlight. Um, I do want to highlight it up a little bit more. However, one way you can highlight red is to use orange. You don't want to mix in red with white because then you'll start getting pink. Um, you can, you can use a little bit of orange uh, to highlight up the red, but too much orange might mm, might make it look too, you know, you might get away from that red. Hey, what's going on, Major? How are you? So one of the things that I might do is I might try to highlight this with yellow, and I know yellow and red make orange, but I kind of want to give it a metallic look feel. I don't know. I might, I might give the whole thing a glaze of red afterwards. Not sure. We'll see how it works, though. Um... Test it out and see. Um, also, on the very bottom, if you guys have noticed, uh, we reset that goal because we met that goal for the Vindicator set last week. So um, I, I have to still ship that out, but um, we do have a new goal down, down, down there below. That's for a Stay Wet palette as well as two Windsor Newton Series 7 brushes. The same brushes that I use, the same wet palette that I use. Basically, I cut mine down to fit into this little iPod container. <laughs> you gave it a poopy butt what hey what's going on Sev? um actually i i emailed them because i was like guys i didn't even get an order confirmation what's going on and they emailed me back and said no worries everything's on track it seems like the that they're casting everything and getting it ready to ship out did I finish the KD pinup? No, I, I didn't finish the KD pinup because I ended up working on a commission piece and then we started casting to do some giveaways and then I wanted to show off this little mini shoulder pad. Which, by the way, thank you guys for all the likes and, and stuff on Facebook and whatever. A lot of people from the other forums that I put it up, they were like, man, you have some small hands. I was like, yep, I have miniaturized hands. <laughs> Oh, what's going on? Hungry Panda, they didn't pack they didn't pack the, the gun drone? What? It's a sealed box, right? What the hell? Maybe maybe you should contact GW and complain and maybe they'll they'll send you some gun drones. Got it wrong and tried to fix it with skin before it dried properly. <laughs> you got a poopy butt because of that. Sure, Sev. Uh post it up on my Discord under the mod channel. If I get one milli paint, we'll paint this critter. It's a fatty that's not even primed. Ooh. Now here's the thing though, uh, Orcaster is one milli paint, one million paint. I usually paint up to a dreadnought size. You know, that was the deal. That looks like it's bigger than a dreadnought, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we can uh, cut back on the commission price 
on it if you want to get that pendant. I wouldn't mind. Alright, I don't know what you sent, Sev, but I'll take a look at it. <clears throat> For the stream! What's going on, Dimak? By the way, guys, I'm going to say this throughout the stream today. Um, if you guys won something last Thursday, please, please, please make sure you guys get me your info. The only person that reached out to me was Dimak, who won the, uh, the Farseer. I haven't gotten word back yet from... Who is it? Gus... Uh, Valor Steel, which I can actually talk to, who actually, actually, never mind, he also responded back to me or talked to me. Um, the Huff, and I got Chippy Vamps stuff, so, yeah, actually, I lied. A couple of people got back to me, but make sure if you guys want stuff, just get back to me and let me know. Alright, alright, Seth, I'll take a look at it right after stream, bud. Maybe we'll chat a little bit after. Alright, so I am using Uriel Yellow here. And what I'm going to do... I might huff. Just uh, send it to me again, just in case. Okay, so I am going to find a light source on this. And I'm thinking that I might offset the light source right around here. Um, not up top, but right around here is where I'm going to paint it. That's going to be my light source. With all the lies. <laughs> What's going on, Imp? <laughs> I could run for president. <laughs> Should I? So basically, I, I put that white dot in there. Let me see if I can lower the gain on this so you guys can see it a little bit better. Alright, the white dot is, or not the white, the yellow dot is supposed to represent where the highlight is going to be. I'll eventually shade that with a little bit of... Uh, red later and again I'm not too worried about the black over here right so now I'm just gonna work my way towards this yellow and I'm basically gonna use the same yellow paint but I'm just gonna kind of start from far away and then draw it into that point until that gets Pretty blended in. <clears throat> You'd run my super pack. So you guys kind of see what I'm doing. If you guys have any questions with what I'm doing, just let me know. Uh, kind of wait, kind of wait for. I'm actually giving two away today, or whenever this goal down here finishes. Sure. Yeah, I mean, it, Warcaster, as long as it's around Dreadnought based or Dreadnought sized, you know, I'll do it. But that's if you get one milli, you know. That's a lot of paint. One million paint. What's the gold price? Uh, was... Oh shit, I didn't write it down. <laughs> Let me double check real quick. I think it was... 60? Yeah.
Damn it. What the hell is going on? All right. I can't type for anything today. <clears throat> Dreadnoughts are on 60 mil. Yeah, I'm going to put red in over this eventually. But I'm going to blend this in as much as I can first. And then I'll glaze a little bit of red in there. But you can see how it's going to start to look um, more and more metallic. Kind of like a metallic red, I should say. Now I still need to highlight or blend these two together because that's a pretty strong line right there. So we'll have to concentrate a lot right around this yellow dot here. Now, we'll eventually, uh, again, glaze it with a little bit of red to cover up the, um, the yellow. Again, I'm not too worried about the black paint because I can always go back over it. So how was everybody's weekend so far? What did you guys do over the over your weekend? Did you guys paint some more miniatures? Did you guys spend time with family? I ate dinner there on my way on my kitchen corner of the counter and caused me to drop the cup. Oh, oh man, going in big with the 10,000. Warcaster really wants this one milli paint now. Yeah, <laughs> raid fifty, yes. <laughs> <laughs> One milli paint. I don't know. We'll see if you can get it or not. This thing looks like the sun <laughs> coming out from like behind the mountains. A portal glyph for chaos demons. Um, honestly, Hungry Panda, I don't know the rules enough to help you out on that one. Might have to uh, have someone else answer that for you. By the way, guys, 
Um, I didn't realize this, and I checked in on Valor over the weekend because Valor lives in New Zealand. I don't know if you guys heard or not of that massive earthquake that happened in uh, New Zealand over the weekend. It was like a 7.18 or something like that. He sent me some pictures, and it's pretty damn crazy. Pretty scary stuff, man. He says he's all right. And actually, um, the miniature that... He was actually working on a miniature for me. Then he was going to send that to me. And uh, lo and behold, that was the piece that fell off of his shed and caused the earthquake. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, I joked around with him about that. And he said that uh, it's actually... Uh, was pretty safe. And it's now in the mail on its way to me. Yeah, man, some of the stuff, the images that he showed is pretty crazy. So I'm glad that he's alright. <laughs> you could kill someone with the old metal trend not base. Actually, he did a uh, he did a diorama piece for me. Hat that hat. What's going on? Thank you for the host. How are you doing today? If you guys don't know, Hat that hat. He's another uh, streamer. I actually just followed him today, this early this morning. What's going on, guys? Uh-oh, it's a raid. You guys know what to do with the raid, right? Pop them off. Pop them off one by one. Type in exclamation laser. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Who is that? Sev? They're going nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Sev going nuts with that. <laughs> Sue Chef, what's going on? Thank you for the host. Wow, damn, Warcaster's OP, man. <laughs> Warcaster's winning again. He didn't even skip a beat over this weekend. Just winning and winning and winning. <laughs> Until you lose that raid. <laughs> it is a lot. It is a lot of pain in one raid. Well, we had Valor. Valor still lost 250,000 in one raid. Death by Donut lost 500,000 in a raid. So it's happened. It's happened before. So ain't gonna lie, ain't gonna say that it's never happened before. So those of you guys just tuning in, what I'm doing is I am painting red and then I'm painting yellow over the red um, to give it a highlight and then I'm gonna shade the whole thing in with a little bit of red. <laughs> now you can't win. Now you can't win to save your life.
So obviously this yellow dot, I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, uh, but it's still pretty pronounced. So I'm going to go in there and try to fix up that edge right, real quick where it's a hard, hard edge. And try to concentrate and add a little bit more paint there and just focus in that area. Uh, right now I'm using a size 1 M. See, I, start, uh, I was neglecting this side right over here. I'm going to have to do that. Yeah, so once we meet the goal down below, that goal bar, we'll be giving away a size 1 and a size 0 brush from a Windsor Newton Series 7. And on top of that, I'll be giving away the, uh, the Stay Wet palette as well. Let's add a little bit more yellow over here and then we'll start going back with a little bit of red glazes to try to tie the two pieces together a little bit. Now you always want to kind of pull towards the center of light, but sometimes I go against that as well and I just pull away. <coughs> Kind of make shit up as you go, you know. I kind of feel comfortable doing that because I know I'm going to come back in with a lot of water or saliva here to blend the pieces together. So I found out this cool method um, of creating mold over the weekend that I found on uh, on YouTube from a from a YouTube user named the King of Random. He actually makes a lot of cool stuff, cool videos. Uh, but anyway, instead of using expensive silicone mold, he ended up using like silicone mold, like caulk gun from like Home Depot. Mix it in with some like cornstarch or whatever and then uh, made a mold out of it. I was like, what? This is crazy. Some crazy shit. But uh, I might have to give that a try one day and see how that works. What's going on, Donut? How are you doing today? How was your weekend? Damn, Warcast is going in with 25,000 paint now. How much would I sell the War Leaders that I painted up? Um, I think I actually had them up on Revlo at one point for the unit and I think I had him up for 250 for the for the 10 guys I don't remember if it was 250 or 300 
something like that. If you want, I can go pull them out and then show you what they look like. They're completely based too, they're done. Who wants to see the world leaders? Type in I. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead with the red glaze. You saw me paint them up. What? The the finished, the finished product. <laughs> All right, give me a second, guys. I'll go get the world leaders. I'll show you guys. The thing is though, Sev, um, you're not going to be able to play it in 30k because I armed two of them with plasma gun and missile launcher, but the rest have bolters. What's going on, Hipkin? Okay, so here they go. So these are the Mark IV, I believe they're Mark IV. The one that came in the Battle of Kalf box set. Every single Marine. Cybound! Sub for four months! Everybody, exclamation sub hype that. So every single one of these Marines have been worked on to have rust effects etc they also have the free hand of the legion 7 symbol along with um all the empty shoulder pads have the free handed world leader circle circle or whatever that that's on the model so yeah that's 10 that's 10 right there but again for a 30k i don't think you're going to be able to use these two guys Red dye number two. What were you guys talking about red dye before? <clears throat> oh my gosh, Warcaster freaking won again. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Yeah, I could do whatever, I could do whichever comes in. Thanks, Donut. Sev, uh, Sev says that he wants to uh, maybe pick them up. I don't know. They've been sitting here for a while now, so gotta get them moving. Yeah, Warcaster, do what Donut says. Might as well just go all in at this point. Ah, uh, the Dreadnought. Mm, the Dreadnought, I haven't finished yet, really. Well, mostly finished. 
Hey, what's going on, Genuine? Thanks for stopping in, bud. Yeah, so... Not gonna lose it in one shot. Oh, he's... He's almost... He's almost... A fifth of the way there. He needs another 25,000. And he'll be a fifth of the way there. He's going for that one milli. Yeah, I gotta take pictures of these guys and then post them up to see if anybody wants them. Otherwise, Sev, you could you could pick them up. All right, let's go in with the light red glaze on this. Or actually, before we hit up red, because red's pretty strong, we'll throw in a little bit of uh, orange. Tie the two together. Sure, genuine. I should be here till about two ish. Cause I always use some more sex marines. <laughs> It's supposed to be sexy. What's going on, Key Lime Prime? Thank you for the host. Everybody coming over from Key Lime Prime's channel, welcome. Alright guys, it's a Lime Raid. Gotta, we gotta deter the, the sourness. <laughs> sexy, not sex marines. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Black Wolf, thank you for the follow. It's a lime raid. Cool Storm, thank you for the follow. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Valor? Valor, I, I just got finished telling everybody that it's your fault that the uh, that the earthquake happened because you dropped my mini. He finishes Harlequin jet bikes. What? That dude finishes mini miniatures like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> What's going on, Earth Pride? Dude, some of the pictures that Valor sent me were pretty disturbing to see how insane it was. It was insane, some of the images. Damn, I don't know what I did to my thumb. Freaking going and getting the Chaos Marines, my I jammed my thumb into something. Let's take a look. Key. Oh, nice, dude. Those look those look freaking awesome, man. And you got a couple more, you said, right? Spiky bits? What are you talking about, Sev? So right now I'm painting in a little bit of orange to tie in the yellow and the red a little bit before going with the red glaze. More spiky bits. <laughs> A mission of pain is weakness. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> I'm always in pain. I am weak. Smash my f oh, that's what you want. We well, want me to smash my finger more on some spiky bits.
You should see the uh, the box that just came out. The that the world leaders came out of. I have like tons of crap in there. Do you want to see? Um, yeah. How do you want him painted, Tiff? Show me. Hey, what's going on, Gus? Hey, Gus, you won something over the weekend, right? Last week? Yeah. You won the Buddha. Gus, make sure you send me uh, your info again, bud. Just in case I might have uh, missed it. You want them all bloodied up like that, Sev? I'll paint them up all bloody. Yeah. Hat that. Hat that. Oh, man. You, <laughs> my bad. You can post up a link if you like. All right, Sev. Then that means that means what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm just gonna dump a whole bottle of blood for the blood god on that mini and then just call it done. Sound good? Also, your soul. <laughs> Nice. Little duels we sub for 10 months. Sub hype. Almost like dip shading, but better. <laughs> Just dump the whole bottle on it. I'm gonna do it too, watch. I'm just gonna dump the whole thing on it. And you're gonna be like, oh, holy crap. All right, now that I've gotten that done, I'm gonna go back in and touch up a little bit of yellow onto that center right there, and then I'm gonna shade the whole thing red. My chill, 10 licks, man. <laughs> 10 licks. Uh, <laughs> that's more than 10 licks. What's the status meta team? They shipped them out to they shipped them out to me. So um, I'm a, I'm gonna send it out to you guys as soon as I get it. I'm supposed to get the shirts in this week. So I'm going to put a little bit more yellow. This is brighter yellow. This is the flash gets yellow. Nero Express for eight months. What? First look for you, Nero. Everybody hype him up, exclamation, sub-hype, sub-hype. Who is that? I think that's Facebook. We are moving back to Tahoe and she's going back to school. My small update. Oh man, that's good news. Uh, okay. All right, Hagen. There we go. Flawless execution. Oh my god, what the hell? 
Wow, man. Anytime Warcaster raids, you guys better raid with him because that MF is winning everything. Wow. Warcasters. Warcaster, I told you you should have went all in. He would have doubled up. Real fast. Just go in all in three times for the big one. <laughs> He's like, nah, I don't want to go in all in three times. Ah! Gus Schultz for seven months. So hype that, guys. Mm, look at that. My man Gus coming in with seven months. That is amazing, Gus. Thank you very much. Day of the resubs. Yeah, we got a lot of resubs today. All right, time to glaze the whole thing with a little bit of red and let it shine. Which one is it, Key Lime? Let me let you know because I've been researching like crazy. Because I want a second one. Perel, what's on the schedule tonight? I'm going to be finishing this shoulder pad up. And if I finish it before stream, then I'm going to work on a little bit of commission work. Do not get the micro. Do not get the micro. It's all hype. That printer is trash. Do not get it. Actually, if you go on eBay, uh, not eBay, on Amazon, you can get a replica i3 Prusa, which has a much bigger bill volume for like 300 bucks. With hairy armpits? <laughs> what? <laughs> Just to fuck with people. <laughs> I can tell it's for Blenders. This is actually a Forge World shoulder pad. Um, it's the Forge World shoulder pad size uh, for the Marine that they had. So, see, I ended up casting it. What's wrong with it? As a printer, there's you can't really say it's wrong. Nothing's wrong, but you can get better print quality and and more modifications and and other things with printers that are better, cheaper. There are there are many, many printers out there that are much better than that for less than. I'll tell you what, one of my one of my students actually just bought the Monoprice V2. It's a eight by eight print bed with I think seven or eight inches high and he paid three three twenty or something like that. And he loves it. it. It's got a heated print bed. You know, it's beautiful. I'm actually tempted in picking it up myself. Alright, so I'm taking Evil Sun Scarlet again. Really watering it down. And I'm just going to go over the whole thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to come back in and then do another coat. So I'm going to do many, many small, la thin layers. 
when printers start to have no lines um yeah except you gotta dish out a ton because those are called dlp or sla printers you can i mean they still have very thin lines but it's it's hardly there actually the um the Raise 3D printer, which is quite expensive actually, but they can print down to uh, 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 20 microns, which is insane. You're talking about 0 .002 or something like that. Again, I'm not worried about the black logo because I'm going to go back in there and clean it up. And then actually this section over here, I will blend in a little bit together. Hey, Chami Latte, what's going on? Uh, actually, I didn't done it. I mean, I was going to, but I had some other stuff that I was doing and I didn't think about it. I forgot. Half a year ago, 100, yeah, I know. It seems like a lot of them are coming down to 50 microns as a standard now. Legos have a 10 mm Yeah, and the thing is, Legos are uh, injection molded. You know, so granted, Legos are printed out much faster than uh, 3D printing, but still. Hey, what's going on, Hoodgate? Thank you. Welcome back, Valor. Welcome back. All right, slowly getting the red layer back over that yellow. thing with layers and glazing is that it takes forever because you got to wait for the layers to dry each time right before you go back in and do another coat and another coat and another coat but it's pissing <laughs> it's pissing down it's supposed to be raining right It's always raining. <laughs> hey, you got some more. You got some bigger problems than than rain over there in New Zealand. All 
<laughs> Give us loot for our ship to right? <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about lube and sheep for, but um, I'll let you guys talk it over yourselves. Alright, I think I'm missing a little bit of yellow highlight down on this side over here. <laughs> oh, oh, that's why. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Smack talk. <laughs> you always accuse each other of Mary. Bearing, being married to sheep. <laughs> Maybe you guys are both. Both countries are married to sheep. Okay, I'm going to start slowly throwing a little bit more yellow in here because I feel like... It just stops abruptly, and I want to blend that in as if it's radiating out from this over here being the center. Alright, it's a little bit better. There's still a little bit of a line right here. But... I want to work on this radiation first. I think I got that. This side over here, maybe a little bit more over here as well. So this is the whole thing about layering, right? Is that you could just go back over and over to areas that you feel that you need more touch-up work. Either adding one color or another or blending them together. Eventually, I'm going to have to highlight the black as well and add a little bit of gray in there into the black. That's going to be fun so that I don't uh, screw up the, uh, the work that I'm doing right now. Oh, Valor, you're going to finish it off tonight? When you finish it, make sure you send me a picture of it. I want to post it up in my gallery. Anybody else who's finished up the shoulder pad as well? All right, let's start adding a little bit more red washes or glaze along the edges here.
everywhere I go, I, I get a standing no face. Speaking the coach, my game got no imitation. <laughs> the sisters, yeah. I've got another set of five that I wanted to paint up, but we'll see how how much I get done on stream before I paint those guys up. But we got those sisters, and then we got the custodies, and we've got Ariman and Retinue, and. Um, the what do you call it? The the Space Wolf, Gregor Felhan, and Retinue as well. Demon Walker, I, bl I, blame, you I blame you for this decision. <laughs> Demon Walker, thank you very much for that donation. Cheers. So it looks like we got a five dollar donation. Getting the a giveaway goal started already. The giveaway goal is sixty bucks to get the Stay Wet palette. I'll show you guys right now. That's this palette right here. You get the full palette. It comes with five sheets of stay wet paper. Um, the entire tray, obviously. It also comes with two Series 7 brushes, size 1 and size 0. So those three items are going to be what's up for grabs to the donators. Let's go in with a darker red now to get the bottom section nice and dark. <laughs> you bought the stupid big one. <laughs> How many licks for you, good sir? What's going on, Greenleaf? Yeah, I bought the small size one and that was still too big for me to paint on on stream here with with the table space that I have what do I teach? I teach uh, Taekwondo Greenleaf I found buying a 30 pound box from Forge World only costs like 35 35 after shipping. What? Uh, 10 by 16, that's huge web palette. Five hundred and seventy hours over a year, what a slacker. <laughs> Who has the most here? I think maybe Donut. Maybe he has the most hours watched. Want to meet in a parking lot? Sure. <laughs> I ain't afraid. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Nine hundred and seventy-three hours. Whoa. <laughs> That's a lot of hours, buddy. It's considering that. You know, know what your bot is at, or I'm at 11.33. You're kind of like Slender Man. <laughs> you know what I'm like? Kind of like the Randy Savage. Macho Man Randy Savage. Macho, Macho Man. Want a piece of me? Snap into a slim chin. All right, getting in a nice darker shade down here. I think I'm gonna go darker. 
I might have to I might have to add a little bit of brown into that. Let's use Vallejo's black brown along with corn red. One punch man. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts my hand and sucks. <laughs> Pump man being single forever. From the teachings of Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal is whack. I learned my teachings from the one and only great Chuck Norris. Come on, you can't top that. I know I know myself some Norris foo. Or you can say Norris Kwan Do. Warcaster is just winning like crazy right now. He's like, I don't care about your, you know, Norris Kwando, freaking Wufu, Wufu Norris, whatever it is. He's like, I'm stealing your paint. Bruce Lee killed Chuck Norris. Steven Seagal. <laughs> That's so funny. Your last name is Norris. I can't top that, Major. I can't top that. How many times do you wax on and wax off? Listen, uh, Greenleaf, it's, uh, that's a little private. <laughs> I don't know about you. You can uh, you can let everybody know how many times you wax it, but I like to keep that to myself. <laughs> you get hairy palms and go to hell. <laughs> what the hell did chat just turn into? <laughs> Let's get a little bit of brown paint onto this corner over here. Chat has not changed. I guess not. I guess it hasn't. All right, quick thing guys, before I forget. Uh, let me see if I can find the command real quick. I just added this command in. I need your help, guys. Um, I posted this up before to all the streamers, but I need your help. Big time. All right, guys. I need you guys to check this link, that, uh, link out that I'm going to send. All right. I need you guys to go on that link, and I, I need you to vote for me for that, for that uh, green monster. Okay, uh, those of you guys that don't know, my son drew that, and we applied to try to, to get votes in 
for the next IKEA soft plush doll. And we want that to come out. We want Little Munster to come out. So if you guys don't mind voting for me, it's something you can do every day. You can vote every day until November 22nd. And right now the lead is some other little thing called Poki Dot Cat or something like that with 35 votes. I need us to hit at least 50 votes a night. And I'll tell you what, if we can hit 50 votes a night, so like right now, today it was at 6 I believe, 5 or 6. If we can hit 55 by the end of stream tonight, I'll give everybody some free paint or, or, or free licks actually for you guys to redeem stuff. And I'll, get, I'll do it every day as long as we hit 50 a day. So guys, hook, help me out with that and get that little guy made. Even if he doesn't get made, I want him to move on to the next round. He said I'll take the paint because he wants a commission. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Thank you, Hungry Panda. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I didn't draw that. My son actually is pretty good now. He actually, to be honest with you, he we put down that he was three, four when he drew that. But he really drew that when he was like three and a half. Just before he turned four. Some of the stuff he draws now is freaking crazy. He drew like a little dog. I was like, what the hell? He draws better than me already. I can't draw for shit. Alright guys, you guys starting to see that dark shade here going up to the light. I think I need to add a little more vibrant red in the middle here. So I might go back in with some uh, Evil Zone Scarlet Red right in the middle. Thank you Richter Scales, thank you. You guys are freaking awesome. My wife was like, can you please make sure you ask everybody to vote for it? <laughs> I was like, okay. We want, we want that piece. We want that monster. Ah, look at that blood angel symbol. All right, I need to darken the edge right over here just a little bit more. I'm going to come in with some brown paint right along that edge. Let's see if you guys can get that thing close to 50. I'm going to check in a little bit and see how many of you guys voted on it. Haha, <laughs> thank you Valor Steel. Angel Fire 86, thank you for the host. How are you doing today? How was your stream today? Farrah Roach, we are... We are voting on my son's drawing to be the next plush doll or soft doll over at Ikea. Is it top by store? Yes, um, right now you have to go under, if you go to the top of that link right there um it says sort by draw it says sort toy drawing or soft toy drawings favorites it says sort by you can go to store location and it's paramus if you go to paramus you can see uh all the drawings from that store that location and then you have to go to age range holy never holy ne evil neville or holy and evil. Thank you for the follow. I'm sorry I butchered that. And then you have to go to 0 dash 4 for age. So 
So yeah, like there's one that says Star Monster, which has 13 votes. Um, my kid, who has 23 now, thanks to you guys. And then Spotty, who has 47. That Spotty the cat has 47, guys. Come on, we gotta beat. We gotta beat 47. Look at that cat. Would you guys want a cat doll or a plush doll toy or that month? Look at how cool that monster is, man, with this big ass blue nose. <laughs> you know, I can't park in where am I? <laughs> I'm at home painting right now. That spotty looks. N I don't know. As a toy, come on. It's gotta be bright. It's gotta have funny nose, crazy looking eyes, and crazy tentacles. <laughs> that smug ass cat. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna vote on this thing every day, guys, because you can vote on it every day leading up to to the final date. And my wife and I actually, you know, started it, and I forgot to mention it to you guys last week. But um, but we're gonna do this every day. You can vote on it. And hey, if that if that wins, I'm gonna have to do something special for you guys. I'm gonna have to do something real special. I have to figure it out. Maybe I'll go meet Greenleaf. Thank you, Kev Rob. <laughs> Thank you, Angel Fire. Those of you guys that came over for Angel Fire's stream, welcome. I apologize that I didn't introduce myself properly. My name is Mike Cho. I'm a miniature tabletop painter here. Right now we're working on a small shoulder pad with the Blood Angel symbol, but I usually paint up miniatures, 28 millimeter miniatures like this, like this Blood Angel right here. This is what I work on. We also do some chibi stuff like this guy. This is the first chibi that I ever painted up, which was absolutely fun. So, we do stuff like that. We do some sculpting here once in a while. We haven't really done sculpting on stream in a bit, but we do castings and stuff. <laughs> What's going on, Ace? How are you? <laughs> Thanks, Angel Fire. It's cold and wet here. I'm doing Seagull workout to stay warm. <laughs> what are you doing? Picking bread off the parking lot? <laughs> yeah, you're licking the ground there. Your face is down in the ground. My foot's gonna be over your face soon. <laughs> not send. I'm not. I'm not sending it to you yet, Valor. Not yet. <laughs> Alright, so I need a little bit more red, I think, more vibrant over here. It's a little too orange. So I'm going to come back in and paint a little bit more red in there. He says he does what seagull, seagulls do. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, because I have the dark down here and the light up here, I don't really have anywhere to really start, per se, or draw out the paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the midpoint where I want the, the color to be blended into. And then I'm going to actually work the color towards that section. And then I'm going to just blend this out by licking the brush. Okay, that's, this is why I'm not too worried about the uh, the black paint. So I'll, I'll end up slowly getting a more vibrant red right smack in the middle.
All right, there we go. So that's that already right there, that one coat is already starting to really blend the two colors of orange and yellow and, and the browns together real nicely. So this is why I do a lot of layering guys, is that whenever you have light colors underneath and you put the base tone again, it brightens up that base coat, that red. And then if you have dark tones and then you put the red on top, it makes that base tone a little bit darker. And this is where you can actually start playing around with actually getting fine transitions from darks to lights by just using that base tone and, and having the highlights and shadows and just going back and forth and feathering the edges and just playing with the colors over and over and over again. So I use that Mephiston Red and then I put in Evil Sun Scarlet, then I put in the, the highlights, then I put Evil Sun Scarlet again, then I went in with the shading, and then I went back to the, to the Evil Sun Scarlet. So you end up getting more vibrant colors with that, with that light yellow underneath and darker shadows with the brown. And so it does take a lot of steps. It, it, it does take a lot of time getting it done, but the transitions that you get will be much nicer um, it's not going to be to the quality that you can get with an airbrush. Airbrushes, you can really get really fine transitions because the paint gets, you know, the particles are very, very microscopic. Um, but with a brush, instead of wet blending or any of that other stuff, which is pretty advanced techniques and you have to really get it spot on right away. Um, I prefer to just stick with the layering. What's going on, Chippy Vamp? All right. There goes the shoulder pad so far it's time for a cookie what all right but I don't have a cookie so I'm gonna have a Kit Kat I actually went to the store and I bought this big ass bag of Halloween candy, which was on sale for like two bucks. Blood Angels is life. <laughs> is that F you? I want a cookie now. Mmm. <clears throat> Cookies to be good. Howdy. Thank you for the follow. Um, Gray Garius, is that how you say your name? Um, for as far as for tips, um, orcs. When I think of orcs, I think of like rough and tough, you know. And like the whole orc lore is that the greener or like darker they are, the tougher they are, right? So I would start off with a really dark base tone, um, like a, like a mixture of like a red and brown to start. And then gradually work your way up the reds um, to to get fine like edge highlighting, um, and then work your way up to the highlights. And then if you feel that your highlights are too bright, and so it doesn't look make it look like your orc is too tough, you know, darker colored, then you can just shade the whole thing with the watered down version of the base tone you used, and it'll actually hide or or get the transitions with the, the lights and darks to work together. Last, was it December? No, 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 it wasn't December. It was January or February this year. I did the Power Ranger Orcs, where I did the red orc. I did the blue orc. I, I did a blue, red, black, uh, pink, and uh, yellow orc. And then we called them the Power Ranger Orcs. We gave them away. What the? No, we no song requests. 
<laughs> Sorry, your pride, but song request is supposed to be for Thursday. I still had that thing checked off. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is that? Okay, now we're going to go back in and just clean up the black paint. Cookie Man Monster Disco. Yeah, add a little bit of brown in there, Gregarious, because the brown will actually tie in with that red really nicely. Tarn Kodos, thank you for the follow. Alright, Valor or Hipkin, since you guys are the main Blood Angel players here, what should I do the shoulder pad edge? Should I make it black? What kind of brush am I using? I am using a Winsor Newton Series 7 brush. Black or red? Uh, you guys can put in mats, exclamation mats, to see the materials that I use. Warcaster, oh my gosh, this guy is winning again. This guy is unstoppable. <laughs> Two hundred, almost 200,000 paint already. I know Warcaster's still winning. It's ridiculous, right? Uh, this is a Winsor Newton Series 7 size 1 brush right now. Remember, guys, um, go ahead and type in exclamation vote Noah. And you guys will see the link to my boy's artwork. I'm going to push that tonight and have... I want to see if you guys can maybe vote. Right now we're at 27. I would love to try to get to 50 tonight. If you guys haven't voted, please vote for me. For my son. Do I ever paint small? Yeah, I, I do not. There. I use a size 0, uh, Series 7 as well. That's probably the smallest I'll go. I've tried using the size double zero, but I just can't. 
I don't I don't like it as much as the zero. And the reason for that is because the paintbrush doesn't hold as much paint on the actual bristles because the bristle is so small and it dries out. So I like using the zeros as like the smallest brush. Bionicles are life. <laughs> oh, I use the normal one, the normal size. I don't use the, the miniature. And the reason I like using the normal size is because the length from the ferrule to the tip of the brush is longer, which means that it holds more paint and you can paint longer strokes with it rather than like short strokes with the sh you know short bristles the primer that i use skeleton craig i use uh vallejo's surface primer again if you just type in exclamation mats you know as in materials um you'll be able to see some of the stuff that i work with there's nothing wrong with the short sizes in Arthur. it's just that personally for me i like using the long bristles I'm not a liar. It's right there. Nightbot just popped it up. Is it Matt or Matt? I don't know what it is. Again, guys, the uh, the link I posted up a little while ago, or that Vote Noah one, it's to vote on uh, my son's drawing to try to make it into the next round for the next doll or whatever Ikea is going to make. And, you know, even if they don't make it, I would like for him to at least have his piece move on to the next round. Twenty-eight plus now, thank you. Remember, I want to try to get to 50 today. So, help a brother out. Yeah, dudes, you didn't hear that there was uh, the quake. How do you paint and highlight black armor? I want to paint. I want to paint interesting black instead of just pure black. Um, I'm actually gonna do that right now as soon as I finish up painting up these outlines or touching up on them. I like using uh, grays to highlight the black. Yeah, I use I use grays. I don't use the blue. Wasting time on my own. All the places that we go. All this pain goes within. 
mean, really, so if it's really by preference, right? If people want to use gray, they can. Uh, blue, they can. Use these dark elf skins to highlight black, purple. Yeah, you could use some. You could use purple too, I guess. All right, guys, we are at 30 votes for my kid's picture. If we get to 50, I'll give you guys all 10 licks. That's basically, that's basically like an hour and a half worth of watching. And remember, you can use licks to redeem stuff over on Revlo. It's basically worth money. I'll tell you what, I'll give you guys 20 licks. I'll basically give you guys a dollar. <laughs> each look at me now now I'm bribing you guys to vote for my son <laughs> my son's gonna be like dad look I got 30 votes he's gonna be like how did that happen I'm like I don't know it's like maybe people like your stuff. Whatever works. <laughs> Warcaster just wants paint because he wants to get a free commission. Yeah, you could vote once a day. Exactly. But we have, how many people in here watching right now? We got 80 people in here watching. We could easily hit that. Easily. This one, never start with pure black, dark gray leaves from dark gray. Yeah, you could do that too. I, I just like going with pure black, honestly. Hey, what's going on, Mathis? What is this shoulder pad from? Uh, this is a cast shoulder pad, bud. I cast it. I cast this shoulder pad. And then I started painting it. Mathis, since you're in here, did you hear about the news? Warhammer TV has a video for your color scheme. For my color scheme, they have a, they have it for my color scheme. How does Warhammer TV have, have the color scheme that I'm using right now? Ah, Mathis, the news is uh, I need you to do me a favor and help me uh, help my son out by voting on his drawing to try to make the make it out of the round, I guess, that of of other kids' drawings. Oh, for Ra Raven Guard Death Watch. Okay, I was gonna say they have this color scheme for Blood Angels.
Watch, with my luck, one of you guys as the viewers, you're going to be like, Hey, that's my kid with the spotty cat that has 45 votes. <laughs> I'll be like, oops. <laughs> Too bad. Vote for, vote for Cho. <laughs> so I'm trying to rig my child's thing. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. If I could bring a smile to my kid's face and have him come to me saying, Dad, look, I won. Hell yeah. And you haven't seen any blend. Their video is only two minutes and I haven't seen any blending yet. Well, Warhammer TV is not going to do blending for you guys. They do the basic generic uh, line highlighting and stuff and shading. Um, honestly, they, they won't paint the style that they would normally paint. But they're going to paint the style that they want the viewers to see how they should paint. You know? So they won't do blendings if you look through any of their videos they do mostly uh, layering like highlights and then shading using their mix unless they pay up you know where my vote lies <laughs> vengeful Tyler's corrupt hashtag corrupt yes little duels I drew it Come on, man. I didn't draw that. I'll show you another picture. Exactly. It's, it's for beginners, Sev. Uh, that's why I was saying they won't do the what do you call it blending and stuff I'll show you another picture of my son drew here's another picture he drew <laughs> he drew a little dog and see he drew the little dog on that box and he said, this is the dog house, and this is where the dog lives. And I was like, oh man, that's really good. <laughs> yeah, my son drew it. And then I'll show you another picture that's really funny. <laughs> here's, here's my other son the other day, crying his head off at night. <laughs> He's like, ah! <laughs> All right, Mathis. See you in a little bit, man. Don't lie, I drew it. <laughs> yeah, he loves to draw, man. This kid draws everything. Make that an emote. <laughs> I should, right? I should totally make that an emote. Be like, angry baby. <laughs> this is where that is. <laughs> this is where daddy lives. Oh man, that's funny. I think I'm gonna go with the black. The black paint around the edge. Wait, how much did you lose, Red uh, Warcaster? 
How much did you bet and lose? I want to know now. <laughs> Thank you, Zeus. Warcaster has 180,000 pain. Okay. Oh, we got to get the subs and reset bonus paint, right? I have to give that to you guys. That's right, Warcaster. For every resub and sub we get, you get some extra paint. So go out there and petition for me and tell everybody to sub for me and you'll get some paint. For every uh, three new subs, three brand new subs in a stream, you get a thousand paint. <laughs> Alright, let's get some more black paint because pretty much use it up. You're gonna remove this thing, just wait. Oh no. He's gonna be like pew 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 pew. It's gonna get out of control. Don't make us do it, Sev. Don't make us do it. Don't make us remove it. Oh, see, Warcaster's going in with 20,000 now because he lost the last one. He knows he's going to win this one. He knows the trick now. What's going on, Real Shadow? The first mod ever loot duels was uh, my cousin Kimchi Donut. Face. She's supposed to sit on his face. Who was the second? Uh, his girlfriend, Beauty Bite. <laughs> and it tipped over. <laughs> Real Shadow, you see the link that Valor Steel just put in? I need you to go to that and vote for me, bud. If we hit 50 votes tonight, I'm going to give everybody 20 licks. That's 20 licks closer to redeeming something in Revlo.
Oh, you used it in closing time? Oh, that sucks, Pharaoh. I did that with Thunderhawk Blue on stream one day. Except I didn't notice that it was like leaking and like the pot fell over. I was just painting along from the paint from my wet palette. And I went to go get more and I was like, oh shit, it's leaking all over. <laughs> they throw away accounts. <laughs> Keep raiding into the Oh wow, you guys are already in the basement. That's actually good for uh, Warcaster if he wins because it doubles, triples up his money. Oh, oh no. You just said check brushes. I thought it was ready to go. Let's let that sit for just a little bit. All right, Nojo Bot says, here we go. You guys are storming the closet. Let's see what happens. Oh, major losses. Oh, I threw you guys in the closet and I closed the door. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. You guys got wrecked. All right, let's go ahead and start shading up this black now, shall we? Shade it up. I'm going to use a little bit of Eschen Gray. Now, I can't go crazy with the, sh the highlighting of the black because I have the yellow and orange paint all there. This Eschen Gray is garbage. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll mix a little bit of this Dawnstone with uh, some black paint to get a darker gray that I need. Whoa, what's going on, sous chef? He said three cheers for shitty internet. You like the orange highlight? I actually like the, uh, you know, this orange that I throw on this piece right here. It looks more like anime-ish. Looks more like Dragon Ball Z-ish. Uh, Real Shadow, I did not finish the pinup. So 
Anime Nipple Marine sounds right. So I'm just adding a little bit. I've got the ratio like just right right now. You guys can see that as I paint, it's drying out on me. Right? Like right there, you see how it's drying out already? Like that means that the ratio of paint to water is like dead on. Yeah, Chibi, they are pretty tiny. They're pretty small minis. Which uh, which ones did you get? No, it's not because it was getting lewd. Real shadow. Because I kind of got distracted painting up other stuff. Alright, so I'm going to come in with a little bit more black on this side. And then we'll continue to highlight with the light gray over on this corner. So Sushef, are you going to be streaming tonight then? If your internet is really shitty? Caliban is where it is. Ah, nah. Caliban, not Caliban. Blood Angels, baby. Sixty thousand warcasters going crazy. He's like, I lost the last one. I have to go, and I have to win now. Ah, okay. I hear you. What did Major Dodo say? I need someone to go instead of Sous Chef. Okay, looks like Major Dodo is going to be hopping on. <laughs> he said, I hate Dark Angels. <laughs> He's like, get out of here. <laughs> we are definitely nemesis. That indeed you guys are. You guys are nemesis, all right. Ripping them, the bikes messing with their thieves are dead. <laughs> uh, 
let's see, maybe an hour and 10 minutes, hour and 15 minutes, somewhere around there. What do you think about that highlight so far? That that blend. Okay. I'm trying to shade it in a little bit more down here. Can I say, oh no, I said, what do you guys think about the shading so far? You guys like it? I still have to highlight it up a little bit more. All right, now I'm gonna add a little bit of white to that, to the very edge. Eighteen more votes to go, guys. Eighteen more. We are at thirty-two. Is that glazing? Um, I'm just layering it down. Very, very thin layers. Oh man, Warcaster, sorry about that. You got raped on that one. <laughs> Anyone that votes for Nozart, I will personally give you 0.5 paint for mustache. <laughs> you hear that, guys? Valor's personally giving you guys paint. <laughs> He's claiming it now. <laughs> Check your uh, paints to see if you have have a paint now. Think 
it's a little bright. I might darken it up a little bit more. Real Shadow, thank you very much. Just a reminder, guys, that you guys can vote on that every day. I'm going to announce it every day this week. Perfect blend of water and paint right now. Love it. Team the gaming if you want sub. Can I just remote awaken? You could use. Lost of, lots of crap. 40 warriors, 10 immortals, 10 lynch guards, 6 raids, 15 scarabs, 1 spider, 9 destroyers, 1 D lord. Three heavy destroyers, six tomb blades. Damn, that's a lot of stuff, man. Hey, where up? What's going on? How are you? How's everything been? It's been a while. Star Sunders, what's going on? How are you? All right, time to plug in that link again. <laughs> we gotta type in exclamation vote Noah. You guys will see one of my son's artworks. Um, trying to see if we can get him into the next round of voting to see if IKEA will make the next plush doll or soft doll. Cholo for Cholo. <laughs> I told my wife that I was gonna not shave this for the month of November for the for, for the Movember movement, and she was like, oh. <laughs> She was like, are you serious? I was like, yeah. But it doesn't look good for like when I'm when I'm at work for like being professional, you know. Oh nice Star Sunders. White scars, that looks awesome. That's looking pretty epic. What are you going to do to base as? There you go. I'm going to type that in again. Got to keep hyping up my uh, son up there, you know. Alright, so I want this to be the light source over here, so I'm going to paint this center section over here. <laughs> from my own stash. It's just a shoulder piece, real shadow. I do have the large scale marine too, but um, I'm not going to paint him.
Warcaster, how much uh, paint do you have now? Because I think you lost the last one, right? I'm telling you, man, it's that gambling is an addiction. You're gonna want more, and the next thing you know, you'll be down to nothing. So chef, I'm gonna miss raiding with your salt for the next couple of days. I think I have like over nine million, maybe almost ten million salt from you from your channel. Wait, you're gonna buy a Cholo Marie for a laugh? So Valor, you want to show everybody uh, the piece you sent me or do you want me to wait until I get it and then we can show it? Uh-oh. Check your brushes. Check your brushes. We're going in for a raid. What's going to happen? Oh, snap. Major losses. Major losses. <laughs> You've lost every raid tonight. Oh, man. Well, looks like Warcaster's on the wrong side of the winning and losing now. He's been losing every single one now. So I is on point tonight. Oh, nice, Star Sunders. Look at that group shot. That's some um, sexy Marines right there. Alright, so I'm slowly highlighting up that one corner over here. No Kelly bands. Nope, they don't belong in the Death Watch. The Death Watch is for only honorable soldiers. Honorable Marines. Dark Angels are heretics. They don't belong there.
All right, let me highlight this section right over here as well. <laughs> please, please accept your application later. Any other? <laughs> Chippy Vamp, um, they are in the process of uh, getting it all set. So I'm still waiting for them. It's such a large order that they didn't, they have to make it, like, since it's made to order. Like, I mean, we dropped a lot, so it's gonna take them a while to make everything. By the way, Chibi, you want me to send you your box set with the Forge World stuff when it comes in? Or you want me to ship it out separately? <laughs> he changed his name. The color of the name. Blue is lame. Blue is not lame. What are you talking about? How many people here would choose blue over green? Which is better, green or blue? Okay, all right, Chibi. So what I'll do is I'll wait a little bit and ship everything out together then. It's almost cheating. The gloss is that good, huh? Uh-oh. We got Mr. Yate Mesa in the house. I'm not liking that right there. All right. Add a little bit of a black wash now to tone everything down a little bit.
I have no idea why the gloss is better. Oh man, it's like dead even. <laughs> half and half, but only four votes. Oh man, we still got a lot, long ways to go for, for those voting guys for my son's piece. We need all of you guys to get in there and vote. Come on, let's do it, do it! Do it. We need to get to 50 tonight if we can, guys. Oh, not that one, Kev Rob. We got a different one that we need you to get onto. Exclamation, vote Noah. That's the more important one to vote on. Still pending. Ah, uh, you gotta verify your email address so that, so that uh, you know. <laughs> what is that thing? That's not my son's drawing. That's not the same. My son's drawing has a nice big blue, bluish like teal nose. Uh, yeah, but load we want, but we want IKEA <laughs> to make it into a real toy. <laughs> All right, so I just threw a black line in there just to tidy it up a little bit. Mm, the shoulder pad is coming out really nice. I'm liking it so far. Now I'm going to throw a little bit more light into that section. Hey, what's going on, Yate Mesa? You guys don't know who Yate Mesa is. This guy is another fantastic blue member. Make sure you guys click his name and then hit that follow button. Hey, uh, Yate Mesa, can you do me a favor, buddy? Can you uh, type in exclamation vote Noah, all in one word? Uh, my son has a drawing on IKEA's website, like in the region of like around us. And uh, we're trying to get his vote through to be the next drawing that they make as a, as a miniature doll or whatever. Um, or like, you know, those soft toys. So voting can be done every day. So today we're starting it off tonight asking people to vote on it. 
So far we're at like 33. I, I was hoping that we can push 50 today and push 50 every night. So by the end of the week we had like 200, but I don't know if we're going to make that. My goal was to try to get 200 this week. But I don't think we're going to be able to make it. You forgot... I really want us to try to hit 200. I think that would be a milestone. And for those of you guys that didn't know, um, Demon Walker got the Demon Walker got the thing started already. But this goal down here, right here, is for the Series Seven and the what do you call it? The Stay Wet Palette. As soon as that gets that that goal gets met, we are sending that off to a winner. Somebody's gonna win that piece. Yeah, you need uh you need to have like a valid email address though, I believe, to vote on it and have it validated. You can't just vote on it and that's it. And the other thing, if you guys didn't notice. On this corner over here, we have the cheer cup, and then we have a cheer bar, which we're going to experiment with. It's the same thing as a cheer cup, except that this bar fills up once we get cheers. And then when it reaches the end, what happens is it, it levels up, and this little cheer token will change into a different gem, and then it continues to level up. We'll see if we can get some power-ups, I don't know. I mean, there are people that don't have 15 different emails. Uh, I don't know. I guess I guess there could be. All right, here we go. We're going to add a little bit of gold to this now. On this eagle right here. We'll eventually black line that as well. Any word on the November challenge? Uh, we were debating what to do for the November challenge. Um, I'll have to come up with something and post it up on Facebook. Maybe we'll do a black and white. I don't know. What do you guys think? Or we should do like a color, a color theme, like maybe brown. What do you guys think? What should the challenge for November be? Not, not to buy anything until Christmas. Yeah, it is starting to get a little late. Um, but you know what? Maybe we'll do a holiday one altogether. Like from Thanksgiving until Christmas. I'm going to... I'm going to basically spill the beans around Christmas time as to what I've been working on, whether I finish it or not. And then, um, depending on how interested everybody is in it, it will give me more motivation to finish it or not. Um, 
for that secret project that I've been kind of talking to you guys about. And then the other thing is uh, we'll, we'll eventually have to come up with some minis to do for the holidays for Christmas. Because last year we did a pretty epic holiday giveaway. So we have to do something similar this year. A Titan. <laughs> no, that's not my that's not my secret project. Oh wow. Death Watch, Taos, Space Wolves, and Admech. That would be kind of cool to have a Tau expansion set. Hopefully they make it worthwhile though, you know? Nothing's nothing that you're not gonna use. I feel like with Death Watch they just came out with that Death Watch, so it's two titans. <laughs> no, it's not. I don't even I don't even think I can do one. New battle forces. Yeah, the secret project is something that I'm making. Not that I'm buying. Yeah, the Ultima box set sold really well. I was debating about picking one up. But, uh, I didn't because I have so many Marines. I don't need any more Marines. We might get into something like that, Real Shadow, in the future. A special uh, Maicho chapter. But not this time. Not right now. The project's gonna be for you guys, really, you know. It's something that you guys can pick up from me and then you, you know, paint up or whatever. Remember, guys, also, uh, if you have any of my shoulder pads or Buddha Marines, and you guys painted it up. Please send